in thinking about this question, I know that there are some ways that I can think of, you know, taking some time off, relaxing on the beach. But f from you, what would you say are some of the best ways to avoid burnout without having to take a three week vacation? Because that's not always possible, you know? Yeah, it's not really going to work because you're going to go into the three week vacation thinking about all the things you've got to accomplish in order to take the three weeks off. And then are you really going to let yourself relax? Um, so I think a time audit is really valuable. I, uh, my belief is that things are 70% energy, 30% strategy. So a time audit gives you some clarity and awareness on where you're spending your time. And then I use something called the Pareto principle and I identify what 20% am I doing that's leading to 80% of my results? And how can I reduce the 80% that's on my calendar? And I also look at what I can automate, delegate, outsource, and eliminate. You don't have to do everything that's on your calendar. That's just something you're telling yourself. And this is something that I work deeply with my clients on. And boundaries. Boundaries on your time, boundaries on your energy, boundaries on your money. If, if you don't have them, then, you know, you're, you're essentially not being very efficient with everything that you're making. And so I could tell you all of this stuff and you could get back all of this energy, but then just allow other people to take it from you. And so mm. the, the biggest thing that I would do to avoid burnout is to go a solid hour and a half, two hours in the morning before you touch your phone. You will sure. change your set point for stress because when you wake up and the first thing you do is jump into your phone, you're letting your phone dictate how you're going to feel and what your thoughts are going to be for the rest of the day. You know what? It's actually so funny you say that. I shit you not. This week, so I've been, I used to do that and then I got in, slip into the habit of going on my phone and this week, uh, what are we, Thursday, Monday, Wednesday, whatever. On Monday, I did that. I made sure I didn't turn my, I turned my phone on airplane mode when I go to bed. So I didn't turn it off until I, I think, got to work or wherever I was, like an hour and a half, two hours later. And I've been feeling like, I don't know, just like mental clarity. It's, it's yeah. very, it's very like, you can feel it. It's tangible. Yeah. It's very easy to, to feel the difference. It's crazy. Yeah. I've um, had my phone on silent since December and we're recording this <laughs> in September. What? Okay. That's, that's elite level though. That's like expert stuff. Um, yeah. But then think about it. Like I pick up my phone and decide to do something with it. My phone's never prompting me to do something. Yeah. Yeah. It's the best way to live actually. 